Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brianna Crane and I'm here to tell you about my experiences with MDF Nation. A little bit about my background. I went to Ramsey High School here in Birmingham, Alabama, uh, which is where I met uh, Coach Otis. And I went off to play Division I basketball at two different schools. At first I went to Murray State University and then I transferred to uh, University of Arkansas at Little Rock. And I just finished playing there last year. And while I was there, you know, I just discovered my passion in training. What is the day like? I like to think of it as, for many, just an emotional roller coaster because we're gonna come here to work, you're gonna die a little bit, the work gonna be hard, coach will make a joke, play around, you're gonna laugh, next drill, you're dying again. So it's just, I like to think of it as just, it's up and down, uh, it's fun, it's just love all around. And we're gonna work hard regardless. Uh, so, which is the most important part. And one thing I feel like everybody's gonna get one experience I feel like everybody will get from just a day being here is the leadership and the amount of accountability we have with each other. Uh, so uh, the key is obviously going to hold each other accountable. Coach O is going to hold us accountable and then just as a coach the kids are allowed to hold us accountable as well. So I just feel like it's just an atmosphere and an environment of just love and accountability and obviously hard work. So I came back to MDF to help train uh, girls basketball. Open to train the boys as well, but I have an emphasis on girls basketball. And right now I'm just here getting better as a coach, getting better as a trainer, just giving my all to the boys and girls uh, that, I, that I encounter on an everyday basis here. So right now I just do the little things, go make sure the kids got to ride to practice, they got to ride back home, make sure they get their protein shakes uh, at, the, at the workouts. If any kid needs anything during workouts, uh, I make sure I just try and help them out that way, just take, take a lot of load off of coach. And uh, also, just trying to critique, especially the newer kids. Like I have a lot of uh, experience with the, new, the newer kids because Coach O is going to be hard on them and then I just come and try to come behind him and then just try to make sure they understand what's going on. Just, just to be a little easy on the newer kids or people that's just not used to the program. So I just feel like that's uh, my biggest part in the program right now. So everybody, anybody when they see him, he's a huge guy, huge. I'm 6'7", not sure how much he weighs, but a huge guy. Everybody, he has to play in the NFL, and then it comes, you know, he did. So when we first saw him, everybody's just scared. Anytime we see him pull up in his truck, he have his little white truck. Right now, you know, he didn't upgrade it. He got the MDF mobile, but he, at first he had the little white truck. We know how it sounded coming up the hill to Ramsey. Some of us saw it just, just fear. Well, uh, you know, but when you get all of the, you start to cherish when he do come around because you just know it's it's time to get better. Uh, it's gonna be hard work. That's where the fear parts come in because it's un, you never know. You never know what you're gonna get out of him. It's always something new. Uh, but at the end of the day, it ends up being a good experience. Uh, as I mentioned, I met Coach O my 10th grade year at Ramsey, and I am so passionate about it because I just see where it's gotten me. Um, even when a lot of people at Ramsey or around Birmingham didn't believe I could be the player that uh, I ended up being, he, he believed in me, and it helped me get to two Division One schools, you know, um, playing, having coaches trust me, and I would have never had that experience if he didn't instill everything that he's, he instilled that he's instilling in the kids today, so. Uh, I feel like the future for MDF is bright. I don't see it uh, going anywhere anytime soon. I just feel like we're gonna continue to grow because right now I feel like uh, we're overlooked just because it's different. Like Coach, Coach O mentioned a few times, like this program is r very radical. It's very different, uncommon. A lot of people don't understand it until they're actually in it. And a lot of people are coming around. So I just feel like we're gonna continue to build on that. Um, so it, now it won't just be a football aspect, but it'll be a basketball aspect as well. And we also get a couple of track people, uh, baseball kids. So I feel like we'll continue to grow in those areas. Just like when I came back, 
and I decided I wanted to do basketball, a kid from baseball might come back and decide they want to branch MDF on baseball or track. A kid for track might want to branch it off there in that way. So I just feel like we're, I feel like uh, the more we put kids through school and they start uh, explaining the impact of MDF on their life, they're going to want to come back and just start branching off and doing things on their own. Okay, uh, so the most memorable experience I had with Coach, uh, I believe it was my 10th grade year. He talks about all, well, he hasn't mentioned too many times, but he's mentioned it a lot to the girls uh, basketball team at Parker where we train. And it was just one, one day, uh, I just went to him saying, I don't think I ever be able to play basketball at a higher level. And he was basically like, if you feel like you, you wanna play, then come put your trust in me and we'll make it happen. And lo and behold, he made it happen. So that's probably the most memorable thing that I get from Coach O, my best memory. Uh, Coach O, I just wanted to let you know that I appreciate everything you do for me and I got your back 100% from here on forward.